What's up, peoples? How's it going, guys? How's it going, my lovely, lovely dudes? You can't speak English no more, isn't it anymore? Mitch, Rit, Mitch, I know what it is, dude. The problem is, is that Trump's been in office for too long and everyone's gone retarded. Damn. Damn. <clears throat> what's up? What's up? Wah, wah. Anyways, what's up, guys? <laughs> so, what's up, guys? Uh, so dudes uh what the papa what's up charmander what's up gabe actually you know what i probably shouldn't play this back on here actually Actually, you know what? It should be fine. I don't understand why it would, why it wouldn't be fine. Hmm. Hmm. What am I gonna do today? So. <clears throat> Bitch, dad and mom won't stop smoking unless he gets a thousand sub. What? Okay. All right, guys. So what I'm going to be doing today is what's in the sub, what's in the title of the, the stream, guys. So NASCAR cards. <laughs> Hell no, dude. So I had to go make sure I had my hands nice and clean for a, uh, for a pack opening or packs opening. So I don't I don't know if this is gonna last two hours, guys. Um, the stream may end before two hours is over. Um, in theory, it it probably should, um, but we'll see. I mean, we may have a way to extend it because um, we're gonna look at the cards that I opened. Charmander, I could just be tired, dude. You know, dude. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 hey! Smoke weed every day. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start this, this this opening up. So first, explain what this is that I'm opening. So when I was out of my card kind of high this past weekend, looking at Beckett prices and stuff like that for cards, I ran across this gem here. Um, <clears throat> so this is 2005-2006 Upper Deck Basketball Cards, Factory Sealed Case. Brand new, not opened. So I bought this. I bought this online. Um, I actually, <clears throat> I actually ended up getting this this pack of car. Or this this box set from a place called Steel City Collectibles, and go figure. Uh, Steel City Collectibles, go figure. Try to guess where they're located. They're located in PA, unfortunately. But unfortunately, it was the only thing that I could. Um, it was the only thing that I could. Uh, <clears throat> the only place I could buy this this damn box of cards. So it's very unfortunate it had to be in PA. But you know what? They were the only ones that had it online. So I was glad to find it. I mean, so I, looking at the the average pri the average price of <laughs> LOL. It's from Pittsburgh, yes. <laughs> um the average price of these this car these cards are about a dollar they're about a dollar a piece why am i opening factory sealed stuff because in these in these packs first off they contain uh they can they contain um at least one exclusive nba rookie per pack and they also have all-star memorabilia cards. And I think there's also also other kind of specialty cards you can get in here, like um, like uh, jersey pieces and all that other kind of stuff. So, hey, what's up, Mike? How's it going, dude? 
No, not Madden packs, dude. Forget Madden packs, dude. This is this is these things are worth actual money, and they you can actually make money off of these things. Unlike Madden packs, where essentially it's a waste of money and you can't make you make absolutely nothing off of it unless you're unless you're in the Madden championships, then then you can make some money off of it. But none of us are, so we all need to shut up. All right. So in addition to that, what they did give me as well, which I did not, it was unexpected, was I got this neat little package. That they provided Leaf Draft Football, which I'm sure Leaf cards, I don't think they're probably worth, worth anything. Um, and then they also provided a scratch-off card. There's also another pack of cards in there, too. I, I can't I don't know what they are yet, but I'm going to open this up. So there's Steel City Collectibles, as you can see at the top. There's Stupid Bridge. There's Stupid ye Little Yellow Bridge. And then uh, a little scratch-off thing. So there's indirect advertising for these guys, SteelCityCollectibles.com. Like you said, it was the only place we could find this. Hey, sorry, hey, what's up, JS? How's it going, dude? Sorry, Benson. Dude, dude, I'm going to start. I'm just trying to hype. I'm trying to hype it up, dude. I'm trying to hype this stuff up, dude. Like the kitty just photobomb. Yeah. So this is the this is the cat hangout room, though. This is my office. As you can tell, you see the walls. Orange, brown with the white stripe. So we painted this in brown's colors. That bridge is a symbol for you? All right. All right, Luke. All right, man. I won't dish your bridge, okay? <clears throat> Although I will say that, dude, <laughs> JS, thanks, dude. I appreciate that very much. JS with the $2 donation, guys. Thank you very much. I'm sorry. I don't actually have the overlay on because this is on my laptop, dude. But everyone, please shout out to JS for $2. Yeah, JS is the real MVP, guys. For real. Yeah, I'm using OBS Charmander. I just don't have my overlay on and on my laptop. Let's start so we have time for Sims. Dude, we're not likely going to... Michael, I don't think I'm doing any Sims today, dude. I'm expecting this to take up as much time as it takes up, and then I'm done for the night. I'm not going to do any Sims today since I'm on my laptop. You like bacon, eggs, and pie. Okay, that's gross. <laughs> All right, so we'll save the scratch off card for later. Yes, thanks guys. Give again. <laughs> give a shout out to JS guys for the uh, the two bucks guys. JS is Chester. The wallpaper is actually the British Columbia Lions colors. Hey, so the stick of truth. So you love this type of stuff, Preston? Good. I, I'm glad that people like. There's there's still some original people like i don't know how many of you ever have ever collected cars cards but uh dude i love co card collecting i have so many cards i just i'll show you i'll probably show you some more at the end all right guys so <clears throat> oh i forgot so here's actually the other pack i got this was the other pack in the set which again i don't like baseball at all but they gave me a baseball pack opening day set, so whatever. Uh, no one special on there that I know of. Why is why aren't the Indians on there? Really? You put a Cubs player on there, but no Indians, even though they're World Series tops. You should be ashamed of yourself. You suck. This is why no one collects tops cards. They suck. That's why I always get upper deck dudes. Upper deck cards are always the nicest. Always the upper deck always have the nicest cards. It's unfortunate that they only do hockey cards now. They don't do uh, NFL cards or NBA cards anymore. Anyways, you'll take the baseball set. All right, so let's go through the baseball set. Um, let's see. Let's look at who we got here. No one I really know, although, of course, I get a Pittsburgh player in here. Go figure. All right, guys, so here we go. So we got an opening day. AJ Pollock, Arizona Diamondbacks right here, outfielder, yeah, Topps cards, I absolutely hate Topps cards, their, their card quality, even these, these, these are okay, but Topps cards, mm -mm, I've never liked Topps, the Warren Moon card is an upper deck one, oh. all right, so the second one, Addison Russell, Chicago Cubs, oh gosh, Shortstop. At least I know what the letters mean. So at least I'm not going to – at least I have some baseball knowledge. So here's the second one. Sorry for the glare. I don't know if there's going to be much I can do with the glare. So he's ass. 
<laughs> okay. All right, so third we have catcher Salvador Perez for the Kansas City Royals. So here you go, opening day card. All right, guys. Oh, my gosh. We got the best player. Guys, I got the best player from the Detroit Tigers. You're not going to believe it. It's the fucking mascot named Paws. <laughs> ah, best, best player on the Tigers, guys, right here. It's the mascot. Hi, my name is Paws. Roar. All right, guys. Next. We've got... <laughs> Next, we've got... Uh, Next, we've got Jose Quintana from the Chicago White Sox, pitcher. Actually, it's probably pronounced Quintana, right? Not Quintana. It's Quintana since it's Espanol. All right, so there's that. Let's keep going. Again, guys, these are just the pre-packs, the packs that came with the thing, uh, which I didn't expect ass. <laughs> okay. All right, then we have... Odrisamer Despijane, I think that's how you pronounce it. San Diego Padres, a pitcher. Hello, I'm pissed the hell off at someone. Quintana, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. The CFL cards packs, dude, I don't got no CFL. Michael, they're all ass. And then we have Jung Ho Kang, a shortstop from the Pittsburgh Pirates. Boo. Boo. So there you go. So that's the baseball card pack. Meh. Again, I don't even know who any of these guys are. So all crap so far besides the ball, <laughs> besides the Tiger mascot. The Tiger's mascot, the best card in the pack. Hype. <laughs> all right, so next we're going to open up the uh, – He's okay? Okay. Can you swear there's something you want to say? I mean, you can swear, but BakerBot will time you out for a minute. Madden, dude, no, I don't open up Madden packs, dude. That's a waste of money. You will make CFL card parts out of scrap paper and send them to me? All right. All right, Micah. I'll be looking for that in the mail then, along with that syrup you still owe me. Okay, so let's see. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I don't know how much this will be worth, but we'll see. But anyway, so actually I'll put this one last because, uh, yeah. All right. So I actually got one good card in this pack. All right. So the end of the draft card. So first off, we have Cooper Cup, wide receiver. Cooper Cup. Who do you get drafted to? It doesn't even say who he's drafted to, does it? That's weird. It doesn't even say who they're drafted to. So these are pre-draft cards. They just say draft on them. So they're not actual NFL cards, which, meh. All right, the next one we got, Touchdown Machines, Donta Foreman from Texas City, Texas. Breakout season for the Longhorns in 2016 with 2028 20, rushing yards and 323 carries while scoring 15 touchdowns. Donta Foreman, everyone. Bakerbot won the battle of of some of swearing. All right, so then we have third in the pack. We have Tease Tabor, cornerback, out of, from the Florida Gators. Says he had a phenomenal season in 2016. The Washington, D.C. native recorded four interceptions, including one return for a touchdown. He also racked up 32 tackles. All right. I remember hearing this guy's name, but I don't remember where he went. I heard this guy's name before. We have James Quick, wide receiver. So for the Louisville Cardinals. Says, uh, hometown favorite, four-year senior played each year, improving each season. He finished his college career with 126 receptions for 
2,032 yards and 14 touchdowns. Just 14 touchdowns in four years? That seems kind of lame. He's weak-ass, no tackling, having bum. <laughs> Michael. Dude, you're so mean. Oh, look, I got a Michael a, a free A card. <laughs> Linebacker out of high school playing in the NFL. I'm just kidding. All right. Guess what, guys? This is actually a good one. No joke. Look at this, guys. I got a freaking touchdown machine. Touchdown machines to Sean Watson. Look at that. So it says, led the Clemson Tigers to a remarkable 12 and 1 record in 2016. He fin finished his college career with 9,484 yards and 86 touchdowns. The Heisman finalists also rushed for an additional 1834 yards and 23 touchdowns. Look at that, guys. Pretty good. We actually had a decent card in the whole pack. Amazing. Banks, you will make that Michael card. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty nice. That was actually, I mean, for for free packs, uh, for a free pack of cards. I mean, shit. Yeah, I'll take that. Probably not worth anything since it's a leaf, is my guess. All right, guys. So we're gonna open up the big one now. We're gonna open up the big one. So this one has, like I said, uh, it's, there's twenty four packs in this box. There's nine cards per pack, and there's we have the opportunity of finding. Uh, it says one exclusive NBA rookie and well, on average, find one exclusive NBA rookie in every pack. And it says to look for all-star memorabilia cards from your favorite NBA stars. Come to CFL, all you college drafts, says, says uh, Micah. But pause is still the best. Yeah, pause is still up there, man. I think Deshaun Watson and then pause, you know. <laughs> All right, so actually the other reason why I like this this set too is because cause Preston's best friend is on the cover. Who is that, Preston? It's your buddy, man. And he looks so young too. Ooh, this, is, this feels like a fat pack. I think there's more than nine in here. Or it feels like maybe there's a thick card. So this is what every pack looks like. LeBron on the front. Yeah, this is NBA. The whole purpose of this this stream really is for NBA right now. Like I said, I bought a 2005-2006 Upper Deck uh, basketball box. <laughs> Lagotes James. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to start tearing into this first pack. Man, I hate – man, they, they sealed these good. They sealed these good. The only thing that you always have to worry about, guys, with opening up packs is um, – <clears throat> Making sure that you don't uh, squeeze too hard when you're opening them. Otherwise, you could damage the outside, the edges of your cards. And you definitely don't want to ruin. Really? This this thing's probably expired, whatever it is. Bid on your ultimate sports reward, really? So that thing's probably expired, whatever that is. That is the only bad thing about buying older, or buying older cards is that there are things, cards that you will get that are like point in time cards like go to this website do this that or the other and get money back or I don't know whatever but so those obviously are useless watch you get like James of the first pack yeah right dude I wish I would like to get a, a like a signed LeBron James card or something like that in here so here's the, here's the dumb card I got so this is just some upper deck rewards thing which again since this is from it says buy products at UpperDeckStore.com, which, again, you can't even buy this at UpperDeckStore.card anymore or UpperDeckStore.com anymore. They don't sell basketball or NFL cards. They sell collegiate cards, collegiate cards, sorry, um, but they don't sell NFL or NBA cards anymore, only um, NHL. So, anyways, <clears throat> so that's a dumb card. Waste. All right, so who'd we get? Who'd we get? So we got, well, again, guys, this is 2005, 2006. So remember, these are some old cards. We got Earl Boykins from the Denver Nuggets. See, Upper Deck always has nice cards. They always have these nice, the nice little, uh, sorry, the nice little logo up here. Nice little shiny logo. The cards are always very nice and shiny. They're very aesthetically pleasing. They always have some type of stripe or, ah, they always have some, some type of stripe or something like that down here. In the middle or on the side. Yeah, exactly. Earl Boykins. The name sounds familiar, actually. So, 
You have, uh, look, Kurt Heinrich from the Chicago Bulls. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, man. I remember this guy. Theo Ratliff from the Portland Trail Blazers. Oh, God. Hey, Alex, look, for you, Ronald Murray from, guess who? The Seattle Supersonics. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Seattle Supersonics, why did you have to leave us? Damn you. I don't even know who the hell this guy is. <laughs> if it's not Sean Kemp or Detlef Shrimp or Gary Payton, I don't know who the hell plays on their team. Oh, my God. Wow. How did I get him? I wonder how much he's worth. He's got to be worth something. Not this guy, but two cards in. Andreas Nocioni from the Chicago Bulls. Who the hell is this guy? Do you remember him? Does anyone remember him? Does anyone remember this guy? I don't remember this guy for Chicago. PV, do you act like you know Ronald Murray? Yes, so then the next guy we got is Jason Williams from the Miami Heat. Some white dude, Whitey McWhitey. Looked like he played for the Kings and Grizzlies prior to coming to Miami. So he was running the point in Miami with Shaquille O'Neal and Dwayne Wade. So can you imagine that? This guy may have actually been a champion. He may have actually been an NBA champion. Here's a card that everyone should know. One of the one of the NBA players to go broke already. Allen Iverson, Philadelphia 76ers. Oh shit. Allen Iverson, how about that, guys? But he's already broke after all that money. Your tie is aesthetically pleasing? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Uh Wow, dude. How did we get two of these guys in? How did we get two of these guys in a pack? We got Richard Lewis from guess who, Alex? The Seattle Supersonics. <laughs> they must have really liked Seattle back in, guys. Wow, Richard Lewis. For some reason, his name sounds familiar. His name sounds familiar. I don't know why, but it just does. Amon, are you, oh, these athletes don't know how to spend their money. Yeah, dude, man, Scotty Pippen, Scotty Pippen went broke. Frickin' Iverson went broke. All right, guys, I don't even, I don't, this must be. I don't even know who this guy is. Does anyone know who Wayne Simeon is from Miami Heat? This is like a special type of card that they have. Like, it's not an insert card, but it's like a special, like, it's RS30 is the card number. So it's definitely part of some type of rookie scrapbook set. But this is card number 30 in the set. I've never heard of this guy. It says he was 6'9, 255. He was born in 83. So the guy is not really that old. He's actually younger than me by two years. <laughs> so does he still play basketball? I wonder. Hmm. Oh, I, Amon, I was uh, wondering if you were questioning who Ellen Iverson was. He was a rookie bust. For once you don't know, Benson says, as. <laughs> All right, so we'll set this, this set aside. Um, yeah, I'll put this over here. That way it doesn't get, these don't get all stretched up. All right, guys, we're moving on. Pack two. I'm sorry, Preston, that your phone's dying. I think I got another insert card in this damn thing, and I think it's another one of those stupid go to the website and fill this thing out things. I'll be pissed if it is. I better not keep getting more of those. The only way, the only reason why I want a pack to feel thick is because I've got like a jersey card or something like that in there. Those are the best cards to get inside packs. So let me get all these situated here. Damn it. Yeah, it got me. It gave me one of those stupid upper deck flipping insert damn cards again. You bastards. 
Oh my god. <laughs> we're all going to have a laugh. Oh, we're all going to have a laugh. Wow. We're all really going to have a laugh. Amazing. All right. Chester? No, that was Maxwell. If that's, that's who you saw was Maxwell. All right, guys. Eddie Curry, Chicago Bulls. Eddie Curry. Yeah, it's Maxwell. He's stalking me. Look at this, guys. Who remembers him when he actually played for the Grizzly? Grizzlies, Paul Gasol, right? Playing for the freaking, doesn't he play for the um, Spurs now? Gasol, look at that, for the Grizzlies. This will rub some salt in some people's wounds. Maybe Micah, maybe McKenzie, maybe JS. Chris Boss, Toronto Raptors. Oh, RIP Toronto. Although maybe not so much now. But yes. Chris Bosch. Mr. Um I forget what 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 disease he has or that thing. Mr. Blood Clot himself. <laughs> he stole a championship from Boston Paul. Yeah. If you don't answer, Mackenzie, I will rob your local Wendy's. What? <laughs> Paul Gasol equals life. Mark Gasol equals goat. I still appreciate Bosch, even if he's gone. These packs are kind of good. Yeah, I mean, these are, like I said, these are 2005, 2006. So they're supposed to be the, the average net worth. The average worth of each of these cards is it was close to a dollar for, for a card. And a lot of the cards in the pack are worth more than a dollar. So over time, my hope is that they will improve as these guys... Because some of these guys, I mean, I think some of these guys, well, definitely some of these guys are obviously still in the NBA. So, all right. So we have Jason Collins for the Nets. Although, at the time, what, the New York Nets? Uh, uh, uh. So how about that? Or New Jersey Nets, I guess, right? No, yeah, New Jersey, right? Remember this guy? I swear this guy was was hyped a lot back in his time. Antonio McDias. You got timed out. I have no clue, I, idea why I'm trying to find who it was. No, it wasn't me. I wouldn't time you out. How much did the packs cost you? The box cost, um, I want to say, hang on. Let me double check. The box cost 70 bucks. The box cost 70 bucks, and that didn't include shipping. That's the unfortunate part, is that they didn't have free shipping, so I was kind of salty about that. All right. <clears throat> so, Drew Gooden, back when he played for the Cavs. Oh, snap. Drew Gooden, look at that. Cleveland Cavaliers before he went to, what, he went came from Utah and went back to Utah? We have uh, Scott Paget from the for the Nets. I have no idea. I've never heard of this guy. You can't do that shit. What? What are you talking about, uh, Michael? I have no idea who Scott Paget is. Oh, look at this. This guy was pretty decent, I thought. Right, Damon Stoudemire shows him under the Timberwolves. But his jersey is, he was signed by the Grizzlies, sorry. And uh, he was playing for the uh, Blazers at the time. Damon Stoudemire. I told you to leave your house, your cats are Russian spies. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. That's funny, guys. Check this out. Darren Williams. Rookie scrapbook. How about that? Pretty sure this is the guy that plays for the Cavs now, right? Can't remember. I thought I can't remember if he had one R or two, but I'm pretty sure this is the guy that plays for the Cavs, right? <clears throat> How about that? How about that? Or maybe I'm thinking of the guy. I think there's a different guy. Because remember, we got the guy from San Antonio or whatever. 
Yeah, yeah. So I thought. <clears throat> Can't remember two, all these guys' names. Didn't he change his gender? What the heck? All right, guys, moving on to the next pack. I think I might get all, with all these packs, I could potentially, as long as I don't get duplicates, I could get, um, I could get lucky and get all these uh, rookie scrapbook cards. So that would be good to complete that set of it. So literally in every single one of these, I'm getting one of these stupid upper deck cards. I'm so pissed off about that. What a waste. All right, let's see. Let's check. I don't know. I don't think I know any one of these packs, actually. Oh, yeah, duh. There's, okay, there's someone good. Other than that, I don't know how many of these people were even still in the league, <laughs> to be honest. Shane Battier, Battier from the Timberwolves. Or, sorry, Grizzlies. Uh, not Timberwolves, Grizzlies. I always get their little, their logo mixed up. You just realized the walls are Cleveland Browns color. Wow, BJP. Dude. You should be uh you should be an analyst. <laughs> Alright, so we have John Barry from the Houston Rockets. Again, I don't I've never heard of this guy ever. He was on the heat with LeBron. Who was? Shane? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. You gotta go somewhere. Oh, Benson, just in time. You're going to miss out. Look, Jason Kidd from the Nets. How about that? Jason Kidd, who all remembers when he played basketball. So we got another. I feel like we just had this guy. Wait, yeah, we had his rookie card, right? The Wayne Simeon guy. We had this rookie scrapbook card. So he's a star rookie, according to this thing. Wayne Simeon, forward for Miami Heat. I always like these under the hoop shots that they have. Like when they're, those are kind of neat. Wife beater. Oh, Jason Kidd, wife beater. Will I paint my cat orange? Both my, well, I have two of my cats are orange already, so I don't need to paint them orange. Go orange and brown. So, <laughs> BJP, congrats for 80 hours, dude. Good job. All right, so we have next we have Mike James for the Houston Rockets. Meh, Mike James, meh. I don't even know who this guy is. Bad year was good for like 1 to 1.5 seasons. Make Wayne Simeon your channel banner. What? <laughs> All right, so we have Jason Terry from the Dallas Mavericks. Are you getting 10 more cats? Absolutely not, Alex. Dude, I will never – I think, honestly – Unless unless my future kids want to have cats, um, I think once all my cats are dead, I'm done with cats, man. Like I'm not planning on re re replenishing any animals for that matter. <clears throat> so we have Eddie Griffin for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Not Eddie Griffin, the comedian. Your middle name is James. All right. So, I don't know. This guy, Sebastian Telfair. That name sounds familiar, but I don't know why. Does he still even play for them? Maybe. Guards, uh, the Trailblazers, Portland. But cats are so easy. Eh. You sucked at Boston, Jason. Terry, you got posterized by LeBron. <laughs> So then we have, uh, out of the rookie scrapbook, we have from the Golden State Warriors, Monta Ellis. Does anyone remember this? know this guy? I sure as hell don't know this guy. Never heard of this guy. Big bust, Sebastian Telfair. Mm-hmm. bass. All right, we're making good progress. We're making good progress. 30 after. What NBA player should you change your profile pick to for a day? Um, any Cavs player that you would like. 
Or or you could or you could change it to Tyron Lue if you're if you're uh feeling froggy. You know what I'm saying, dude? Oh my god, wow. Broke, broke. No, I'm just kidding, I don't know about him though. Damn it, he's got all these cards. Pretty stupid upper deck entered cards. Oh my god, wow dude. Wow this oh snap, this dude looks young. Oh I remember this guy. Oh, I remember this guy. Wow, this is actually a good this is a good pack here. This is actually a pretty decent pack here. I at least remember the names. And there's some a lot of popular people in here. You, Ellis was good for a while. Okay. Monte Ellis is on the Pacers now. Him and Baron Davis were the original Warriors. Oh. No, I don't know about Monta Ellis, dude. All right, guys. So we have. Look at this. <sighs> this is actually a pretty decent pack. Um, so we have Michael Finley. Signed by the Spurs. Originally playing with the Mavericks. Wow, who was the Mavericks when they had those colored jerseys? God, those are awful jerseys. So Michael Finley. I remember his name. Most of you guys might remember some of these guys. Or at least you should. <sighs> Look at this. Latrell Sprewell from the Minnesota Timberwolves. Who remembers this guy? Latrell. Good old Latrell with his 5,000 wives or kids. So Latrell Sprewell, guys. I don't know this guy. He's definitely a bit older. He was born in 76, so he's probably out of the league now. Matt Harping from the Utah Jazz. Don't remember this guy at all. Why aren't I doing Sims today? Because I'd rather do this. Because doing Sims every day is boring. It gets boring, dude, after a while, you know? All right, so star rookies, Jarrett Jack from the Portland Trail Trailblazers. I never heard of this guy, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know who this guy is. Jarrett Jack, he was a star rookie, apparently. Does he still even play in the NBA? He was born in 83, so again, a guy two years younger than me. Latrell, yeah, but Latrell, did, Latrell I thought, also went broke, though, dude. From all that, all those, his kids or some shit like that. Hey, what's up, Tyrod? How's it going, dude? You were you were obsessed with Jack. What? Are you serious? All right. Um, Jared Jack equals mediocre. All right. Next guy played for the Cavs as well. Remember, this is the guy who got arrested for having guns or some shit like that. Delonte West. Wow. Amazing. Delonte West. Charmander, one of your buddies right here. You like my room? Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. You meant to say shut up, but you're sorry. What? Charmander, the type of guy to memorize the 2K9 database. <laughs> right? All right, next guy. Everyone should know this guy, I would hope, by now. Shaquille O'Neal for the Miami Heat, of course. Everyone knows this guy. F you, bus, you suck, Delonte, you slept with LeBron's mom. Yeah, he would only hope so, dude. He was trying to hook that up, but... Who remembers this guy? I remember this guy. I, I don't know why, but I just remember him. Wally Serviak. From the Minnesota Timberwolves. I remember the name. I don't know why. Hey, what's up, gamer? How's it going? You got to go? All right, Benson. Hey, thanks for stopping by, dude. Appreciate it. Hope to see you again soon. Do you have Shaq's shoes? All right. All right. You guys should all know this guy. Steve Nash from the Phoenix Suns. Alex N., where you at, dog? Holla, holla, holla. Holla at your boy, Steve Nash. From the Phoenix Suns. And then we've got 
Last but not well, last but not least, Danny Granger rookie scrapbook for the Indiana Pacers. He was born in '83. Does anyone know this guy? Does he even still play basketball? I have no idea. Do you say wolves instead of saying wolves? Not chirp, not chirping, just wondering. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I pronounced it wolves. Wolves. Your uncle said you look like Nash. Oh, shit. Granger was good before injuries. Does he even still, does anyone know if he still plays basketball? Holy crap, what the heck, what the fuck happened to Danny's career? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh, God, not this guy again. Come on. See, that's, oh, I, that's the only bad part about pack openings is then you have to worry about dupes. Then you start getting in the dupes, the dupe dupe dupes, shoot dupey dupes, dupey dupes. Uh, these stupid upper deck insert things, man. I'm gonna die. Oh wow, actually we got a pretty decent one. Everyone should remember them. Hey, what's up, Holly? How's it going? How's it going, girl? All right, guys. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one again, but we got a, a duplicate Wayne Simeon. Boo, boo. This time we got, hey, look, Alex, just for you, buddy. Before you went to New York, Amare Stoudemire, Phoenix Suns. Before he had, was wearing the goggles on his face or whatever, looking like an idiot. Oh, wow, man. They like you today. Uh, they like you today, Alex. Raja Bell, Phoenix Suns. Signed by the Suns. So this was when he played for the Jazz, and then he got signed by the Suns. I don't know this guy. Bobby Simmons? Anyone? Bobby Simmons? Signed by the Bucks? He used to play for the Clippers at some point. He's definitely got to be out of the league by now. He was born in... Oh, I guess he doesn't necessarily have to be, but most likely he is. Oh, yeah, definitely he is. Shit, what am I talking about? These guys are definitely out of the league. Most of these guys are. All right. So, oh, here we go. Rashid Wallace. Rashid Wallace, the, the, walking, the walking technical from Detroit. I'm assuming most people remember him. If you remember the Rashid Wallace kind of way I pronounced it, it came from the Chappelle Show episode where he, he had he was in the car smoking weed with some other NBA players and he was pretending uh, Charlie Murphy was was Rashid Wallace and he made that stupid <laughs> comment like that. <laughs> hey, what's up, Preston? You're back. All right, guys, we got Yao Ming. Oh snap, Rockets, Yao Ming, aka Flagrant Foul. Yeah. Best known as the walking technical, Rashid Wallace. Oh, man, this guy was good. Uh, wow. Jerry Stackhouse. How about that? Timberwolves, right? No, Mavericks. Uh, Mavericks. Why do their, all their, their little logos look the same? But the, These are Dallas Mavericks. How about that? Yao Ming spoke out against shark fin soup. What a legend. <laughs> Darius Miles. Remember, this is, he used to play. He played for Cleveland for one year. Oh, two years. I'm sorry. A year and a half, something like that. Darius Miles. Then he played for the Clippers. He went to the Clippers, I guess, at some point. Or no, sorry. I take that back. He played for... Clippers, then he went to Cavs, then he played for the Trailblazers. All right. And then last, we have TJ Ford from the Milwaukee Bucks. I don't, this guy's name may sound kind of familiar, but I don't really know this guy. So I'm not sure. TJ Ford, guys. You sat on Boston's bench and won a ring? <laughs> Oh, God. Cavs blew a 1-3 deficit. 
Wow, dude. Amazing, Alex. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're still cranking through here. If you don't know him. For all the guys, when you're cold, do you put your hands in your pants? What do you mean when you're cold? I mean, you put them, you can put your hands in your pockets, not literally stick them in your pants. It's a little perverted. TJ was promising, but he broke his back and was never the same. Oh. I don't know who this guy is. Nice. Oh, God. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. Who's this scrub? Who's this scrub a dub dub? Carmelo Anthony for the Denver Nuggets. Amazing. Doesn't your penis provide you warmth? Um,. No, just your body heat provides you warmth. <laughs> All right, so we got... What the heck is this, Charlotte? Yeah, Gerald Wallace from the Charlotte Bobcats. I don't know that I ever heard of him, to be honest. Not going to lie. Hello, it's Mello. Anthony should have won 2003 Rookie of the Year. This guy, I remember his name. Lindro Barbosa from the Phoenix Suns. Alex, shout out, Alex. Barbosa says, what's up, Alex? <laughs> hey, what's up, Thomas? So we have another, uh, except for not a, ro a rook uh, rookie, whatever they call a scrapbook card, but a Deron Williams, Utah Jazz rookie card, star rookie. We have Kareem Rush from the Charlotte Bobcats. Your dad's friend grew up with Barbosa. All right. Karan Butler, the wizard from the Washington Wizards. Played with the Heat and the Lakers previous to going to uh, Washington. His name sounds familiar. <laughs> Raul Lopez. Who remembers this guy? The heck? He was traded to the Grizzlies from the Utah Jazz after two seasons. All right, next thing, we have Tim Thomas from the Knicks. I don't know who this guy is. I have no idea who this guy is here. And then we have rookie scrapbook David Lee from the New York Knicks. I don't remember this guy at all. Any New York fans have any idea who this guy even is? Some whitey dude. He was a Ford from Florida. Have no idea who that guy is. Tim Thomas, another 2K9 guy. <laughs> you and your 2K9 guys, man. Wow. This pack opening can't go fast enough. I didn't think this would last two hours. It might go two hours. Damn. A lot of packs to open up. I'm going to start going a little bit faster on the cards, though, guys, because... <clears throat> Yeah, so that way we can get through these packs. I hate you, David Lee. <laughs> okay. What is your problem with David Lee, Charmander? You used to, Lee used to be on Golden State? Oh, okay. David Lee is Sean Lee's brother. Hey, what's up, Nemo? How's it going, dude? Come on, cards. Give me, like, something good in here. Like, I need, like, a good... Ooh, that's all right. But I need, like, a good insert or something in this mug. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Well, we'll start off with this one since we just had this one just recently. Another David Lee <laughs> freaking rookie scrapbook card. All right, so we have this name sounds familiar to me. Michael Red from the Milwaukee Bucks. Michael Sweetney from the New York Knicks. Oh, look at that. Tim Duncan, San Antonio Spurs. I'm sure everyone knows who this guy is. Charmander, you can tell me who this guy is. I've never heard of him. Gerald Green. Boston Celtics. Sweetney Tubby McFadass. <laughs> Alrighty then. Ooh, Amika Moga. Oka, Amika Okafor. Remember this guy. I remember hearing his name. I don't know how much what he really amounted to, though, from the Bobcats. Green is a great dunker. Okay. Hey, what's up, Devontae? How's it going, dude? All right, we got Eddie Jones from the uh, Grizzlies. It was Tim Duncan dunking. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Maurice Williams from the Milwaukee Bucks. The GOAT, he came back to us in a slam dunk uh, this year and won a slam dunk contest in 2007. Oh, who remembers this guy? Jalen Rose, Toronto Raptors. Played for the Nuggets, Pacers, Bulls, and then Raptors. And then we had showed David Lee already. All right, <clears throat> on to the next one. Jalen Rose is a shit commentator. He works with ESPN now. Did he get, was he not part of the layoff from ESPN? I'll assume that's a no if he still works for ESPN. Killing me, guys. You're killing me here with this crap. <laughs> uh, I remember this guy. All right, we have Damon Jones from the Cavs. All traded to the Cavs, that is. Played for the, wow, New Jersey, Boston, Golden State, Dallas, Met, uh, Grizzlies, Pistons, Kings, Bucks. Jesus Christ, dude, this guy moved a lot. <laughs> oh, God. And that was only in, like, five years, six years. Jeez Louise. That dude moved a lot. We got Corey Meggett from the Los Angeles Clippers. Send me that Gerald Green card. <laughs> nah, man, I'm going to put these in my set, dude. Andre Kirilenko. Never heard of this guy. Utah Jazz. Big white lanky guy. Pinche is cheese. What? Stefan Marbury. There you go. New York Knicks. Who was this guy? He looks like he just crapped his pants. <laughs> He's like, get your thumb out of my ass. Troy Murphy, Golden State Warriors. Never heard of this guy either, but he looks like he's constipated or something. Oh, God. Wow, we got a lot of Cavs players, or at least some Cavs players in this pack. Larry Hughes, Cavs, signed by Cleveland. Played for the 76ers. Phil, uh, Golden State, 
Washington before going to Cleveland. You sucked on Boston Marbury. Mm -hmm. This guy, pl I thought this guy played for Cleveland eventually as well, actually, and Miami, I thought, for some reason. Joe Johnson, for some reason, I feel like. I'm not really sure. Or he just happened to have the same name as someone else. I don't know. Because um, I know we had a Joe Johnson on our team at one point. But then I think we traded him to Miami or some crap. He was, like, on our practice squad on the Canton Charge. But anyways, Joe Johnson, everyone, Joe Johnson. Then we have some Morris Peterson from the Toronto Raptors. Can you tell me number 10 is ours? No, not yet, dude. All right, then the final, we have a rookie scrapbook. Hakeem Warwick from Memphis. Does anyone remember this guy? I do not know this guy, honestly. You know what, Alex? Don't be a hater, man. You know, dude? You know, Alex? You're probably the GOAT, Devontae. Dude, I don't know, Devontae. You got to you gotta have a good season, man, to be considered the GOAT. You got Randall Cobb and uh, what's his name, the other the white guy to contend with, dude. Bust work, another NBA 2K9 guy. Wow, really? I didn't know. His, did his son actually play in the NBA? Must have been a footnote of... Something, man. So I sure as heck don't remember that. Oh, some of you guys may remember this guy. Well, he's he's also on TV now as well. We got Chauncey Billups, Detroit Pistons, when the Pistons were actually pretty decent. Chris Duhon, Chicago Bulls. In 2018, Peyton Manning and Jay Cutler will probably start doing play-by-play -play commentary together next third year show. That will sound worse than Phil Sims and Jim Nance. Nah, dude. Nah. If I remember this guy, Mike Bibby, Sacramento Kings. What's up, Bibby? Bibby the Bibster? No, why did we trade you, Billups? <laughs> right? Oh, snap. Another Cavalier player now. Look at this guy. Wow. Kyle Korver played for the 76ers at the time. Now one of the red hot shooters for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Shoot them threes, dog. Shoot them threes. Burn that net up. How many cards do I have? I have a whole box, Derek. That's a whole box of 24 packs. I think I'll have to count how many we're through, but I don't know just yet. That's what I'm trying to go through fast. Antoine Walker, Miami Heat. Traded to the Heat from the Celtics after about, look, like, about maybe seven years with the Celtics. Went to the Mavericks. Then, huh, that's funny. Then he went back. Then he went to Atlanta. Then Boston again. Then he got traded to the Heat. <laughs> the heck? Chris Kamen, I'll assume. Los Angeles Clippers. Guys, <clears throat> all right, Devontae, thanks for stopping by, dude. All right, what the heck? I don't remember this guy. The New Orleans Hornets, Speedy Claxton. <laughs> that was literally this dude's name, Speedy Claxton. Amazing. All right, <clears throat> Danny Fortson, Seattle Supersonics. I don't remember this guy at all. Not many people are stars of the league. I agree. And look at this, guys. Rookie, scrapbook, Daniel Ewing. Amazing. I'm assuming, was this Patrick Ewing's son? I would have to assume so, right? <laughs> Speedy Claxton, another 2K9 guy. 
Let's see how many packs we got left. Actually, I think we're about halfway through. Wow, that actually that timing was pretty good. Oh, I take that back. Maybe we're not exactly halfway through yet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We got fifteen. That's what I'm trying to speed through. Yeah, we got fifteen. So we're almost halfway through. You're so Bob Bobcats changed their name. It sounded like the high school team. You don't don't you agree, everyone? No, Daniel Whitting's not his son. Okay, all right. I wasn't sure. Oh, God, no, not this guy again. I don't want this effing guy again. So we got another Monta Ellis scrapbook one. We already had him. For some reason, I feel like it looked – does it look different? I don't know. Maybe I'm confusing them because we've had a lot of those uh, cards. Starting to get kind of bummed right here because um, I was hoping for <clears throat> at least one like special card in this the set or something, you know, guys. All right, so we have Ricky Davis. He played, yeah, I remember. I saw his name sounded familiar. He played for the Cavs for two years, two thousand one to through two thousand three, before going to the Celtics. Oh, he played for them in two thousand four. Then he. Assume, presumably got traded to the Celtics. So Ricky Davis. Are you in a room painted like Cleveland Browns? Yes, Derek. This is my office, man. Samuel DeLambert. 76ers. Never heard of this guy. Gordon Gearcheck. Utah Jazz. Never heard of this guy. <laughs> Pothead Ricky Davis, you suck. Just kidding, you were okay. Star rookies, Salim Stoudemire, Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> Remember this guy? Luol Dang from the Chicago Bulls. Two more subs till 4K. Yeah, dude. Jazz, we, we've been on this weird, like, YouTube doesn't want me to hit 4K, so they just, like, my subs just keep disappearing after I hit 4K, so then it's always, like, the struggle to get back to 4K. Show the paint job in the room. I kind of did. I mean, I moved out of the way. That's pretty much what you see in the background is the job. <laughs> Josh Smith from the Hawks, Atlanta Hawks. Quentin Richardson, New York Knicks. Traded to New York from Phoenix, it looks like. Yeah. Sotomayor is such an un uncommon name, but a bunch of NBA players have it. Mm -hmm. And then Kenny Thomas from the Kings. For some reason, that name sounds familiar, but I'm not sure why. But Derek, if you look, well, that's a picture of me and my wife back there from a cruise. But, I mean, it's basically the same thing, dude. It's orange, brown stripe, white, brown stripe, orange. <laughs> Show you Chester. Uh, he's not in here. And neither is Matt Crow. They both left. They both pieced up out of here. Hey, what's up, Cam? How's it going, dude? Josh, LOL, WTF happened to him. <clears throat> Maybe if he shows up, I'll... Uh... The Clorox disinfectant wipes are hanging above my head. What are you talking about? <laughs> the heck? What are you talking about, dude? Those are those are tissues back there. That's what you're referring to. I'm not sure. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh gosh, remember that guy? <laughs> remember that guy? That looks like a different. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Wow. So we already saw this guy, Hakeem Warwick. Same dude again, so I'm not going to spend much time on him. Oh, at least we're not getting a lot of duplicate cards. I will say that. That I do like is that we're getting a lot of distinct cards in the set other than the rookie ones, which there's a lot of duplicates. There's been some duplicates there, but I'm happy to not be getting a lot of duplicates like common cards. Did I paint my room? This is, like, you did a good job painting. Well, thank you. Yeah, this is the first room that we, I think this is one of the first, no, this is, 
This is one of the first rooms we painted when we moved in. It took us a while, but yeah, me and my, my wife and I painted the room together. All right, Sean Livingston, the Clippers. How about that, Sean Livingston, everyone? Doesn't he play for the? Doesn't it, doesn't that guy play for the um, Warriors now? For some reason, I feel like maybe, or I'm just completely out of touch. Carlos Arroyo from the Detroit Pistons. Hey, what's up, Jeff? And what am I doing? I'm doing a card. Yeah. <clears throat> doing a card uh, showcase thing. Uh, these are op live pack openings from a 2005-2006 upper deck box, factory sealed box. Tony Kukoc from the Bucks. Remember him? Alex for you. Sean Marion from the Suns. Anthony Johnson from the Indiana Pacers. Don't really remember him at all. Ben Wallace for the Pistons, who played for the Cavs at one point as well. Big Ben Wallace. I actually have a Big Ben Wallace uh, hoodie. Look at this, guys. J.R. Smith with the freaking Hornets, dude. Now J.R. Swish of the Cleveland Cavaliers. You were on a quest at seven. Where them Bills, the Bulls players at though? We've had a couple on here, Ranger. Uh, Nick Van Exel for the Spurs. Wow, this dude was old at this time. <clears throat> We've already, yeah, we had we had some Bulls players already, Ranger. <clears throat> I can't remember who because I don't remember. We had Dang Luel Dang. Um. I don't remember who else we had, though. There was some other white dude. <laughs> I forget who it was, to be honest. <laughs> some other, just some white guy. Oh, God, not this guy again. Another Daniel Ewing. Nothing sexy there. We already saw him. <clears throat> oh, wow. Amazing. So that card's probably worth at least a few bucks. At least this one is. Oh, snap. Yes. Oh, shit, dude. Are you crazy? Amazing. Look at this. This is pretty good. All right, guys. So there's some nostalgia effect here going on right now. Look at this. So we have Zajunas Sigalskis from the Cavs. Amazing. And check this out. The Cavs' current head coach, Tyron Liu, Atlanta Hawks. Amazing. Now that was Maxwell. That was behind me. He jumped up on the window. Big Z boy. That's right, man. Z. Everyone should shout Z in the queue when that dude would take a shot. All right. Chris Weber, Philadelphia 76ers. Rafael Raff Alston from the Toronto Raptors. Oh, snap. Wow, this is a – wow, this is an interesting pack. What? Whoa. This is an interesting pack, guys. Ranger, you'll appreciate this. Michael Jordan, Chicago Bulls. Kobe M. F. and Bryant. This pack is crazy. And then you have this butthead, Gilbert Arenas from the Wizards. Remember that butt? Freaking Dwight Howard from the Magic. Look at that. Crazy. That was that was a crazy last five cards of that pack. Damn, dude. That's crazy. I've that who who would have expected? Michael Jordan and Kobe in the same pack. Who would have expected that? And a freaking Gilbert Arenas and a freaking Dwight Howard from back in the day. 
second quarter he became a lazy bum and stopped trying to play. <laughs> I don't remember that guy. Oh, I remember that guy. <laughs> Gilbert's got a gun, gun, gun. He shoots Jarvis for fun. <laughs> what? I don't even know who this is. Stromile Swift? What? Houston Rockets? Who the hell is this guy? Does anyone remember this guy? He was traded from the Grizzlies to the Rockets. I've never heard of that dude in my life. Steven Jackson for the Indiana Pacers. I kind of remember the name. But when I hear Steven Jackson, it reminds me of the running back from the Rams. Or former running back from the Rams. Let's see. Lee Nalen from the Philadelphia 76ers. Not really sure. I'd never heard of this guy. He apparently came from the Nuggets. Mm. He also played for Atlanta, Orlando, and Cleveland in the same season. Uh. Big Bus Stromile. Okay. Jason Maxiel <laughs> from the Pistons. I don't remember this guy, but he was a star rookie, apparently. This guy's name sounds familiar. I don't know why, though. Does he still play? He can't. There's no way this guy still plays. Baron Davis from the Warriors. His name sounds familiar, but I'm not sure why. Just Juan, Dewan Wagner from the Cavs. I really don't remember this guy at all. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember this guy at all. Apparently, he was drafted by the Cavs, but don't know that guy. The name sounds familiar, but that's about it. Chester, shut up. All right, so here we go. Tony Parker, San Antonio Spurs. We all know who he is. He still plays for them. And just to think, he was five years in the league or four years in the league when this card came out, and he's still in the league. Dan Gedzurik. Gedzurik, I don't know, Gedzurik from the Milwaukee Bucks center. Let me think who the white guy is in the Bulls. Oh, I know it was you, Steve. <laughs> right? And then we have Martel Webster, rookie scrapbook. For the Trailblazers. Don't know who this guy is. Where's LeBron, dude? I'm hoping I can get a LeBron in this set, dude. I'm pissed. They got his they got his face on the package, but he's not in the packs. Chester, come here. Come here. Everyone wants to see you. Everyone wants to see you. Look. It's your it's your fanboys. Hello. Say hello. My name is Chester. <laughs> Look, let him get a close-up of you. Look. Aw, look at the little kitty with a feather, little feather. <laughs> Maxwell, look, everyone wants to see you too. The Maxwell fans. Maxwell and the fans how in the house say, hey, hey, my name is Maxwell. My name is Maxwell. Aw, he's so adorable, little Maxwell. Poop, 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 poop. <laughs> poop, poop, poop. Poop, poop, poop. He likes to get booped on the nose. <laughs> oh my god, marry me. Have my future kid. What the heck? <laughs> Amazing. Ew, what's that ew for? What's that ew for? Why are you ewing, Ranger? Little cat hair. That's the only thing that's bad about putting cats close to your face is that bring Chesty back. Where is the fat one? Bailey? Um, He's probably downstairs laying by the... The... Air and heat register. <laughs> That's where he was when I got home, at least. So those are the cat. Ooh, we're starting to get some duplicates now. I don't like that. No dupes. No dupes, please. At least there's not that many just yet, though. We still have... We got eight packs left, it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs left. All right, so here we go. Yeah, buy the food. Yes. Eddie Curry from the Bulls. Here you go, Ranger. We already had this one. Paul Gasol from the Grizzlies. 
Juan Dixon from the Trailblazers. I think we had him before. Pretty sure. I think. I'm not sure. Ooh. Hato Turkoglu. Remember this guy? Amazing. Didn't he get traded somewhere? I remember he played for uh, the Magic, but I, thought, I felt like he got traded somewhere. We already saw, we already had Delonte West. That's a duplicate. We already saw Shaq on the Heat, so that's a duplicate. We already had Cezerviak. He was a duplicate. <laughs> we had Steve Nash already. That was a duplicate. Why are you the only mod here? I don't think you are. Um, Cam was here. All right, and then we have Travis Denier from the Orlando Magic. I don't remember this guy at all, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. F you, Delonte. Nice. Kyrie has a better shoe line than LeBron. All right. That's fine. Shaq is on the cover of 2K18. Why? Why would Shaq be on the cover of 2K18? That, that's like the worst decision ever. Worst decision ever. Worst idea ever. Oh, gosh. Freaking cat hair, damn it. Should have never put him next to my face. Damn cats. Oh, man. That's crazy, dude. Amazing. Amazing. All right, so we've got Damon Jones, Cavaliers. That was a duplicate. We had him before. We had Mike Bibby already for the Suns. We had him before. Or King, sorry. We have Kyle Korver. We already had him. Duplicate, but also on the Cavs. And check this out. We have a Channing Fry from the Knicks. Also on the Cavs. Woo, say I was on the championship team, dog. I'm a champ. I got my ring. Elton Brand. I have no idea who this guy is from the freaking Clippers. Does anyone know? Dennis Rodman with the Bulls. Was Dennis Rodman still was Dennis Rodman still around in 2005? Oh man, back when the Pistons were good. Look at that. Richard Hamilton with his little face guard. I always wanted to punch that guy in the face every time the Cavs played him. Pistons, Richard Hamilton. Hey, what's up, Givens? How's it going, dude? They have not replete. Okay, so that, that makes sense then. The Legends won, but not in the regular one. That'd be dumb. All right, so Corliss Williamson. Big Bus Bulls, Elton Brand. Huh. Corliss Williamson, Kings. Never heard of this guy. He just has a long ass name. Joe Smith for the Bucks. For some reason, the name sounds familiar, but I don't know what he's done Art rip hamilton right and then the legend or the rookie scrapbook francisco garcia from the sacramento kings don't know who this guy is wow look at this look at this face look at that face that dude looks like he's me mugging someone like he wants to fight he wants to fight scotty with the bulls <laughs> We'll see, man. We're we got we don't have too many packs left, so we'll see, man. So I've got some more cards coming. Um, I'm probably not gonna do anything tomorrow with them though. But um, oh wow, how about this? Rookie scrapbook, Andrew Bynum. Lakers. Interesting. Just thought that was interesting. Seems like I got a duplicate pack. Like they literally stuck almost the same cards in this pack that I had in another one. So now it's not as exciting. It's not as exciting, guys. Steve Effing Kerr with the Bulls. So we have Michael Red from the Bucks. I feel like we already had him, though. We definitely already had um, Livingston with the Clippers. This is, I think, is actually almost an exactly duplicate pack. We had the Sweetney guy from Knicks. Danny Granger, the star rookie card. 
And then we got the same. We got freaking we got freaking Michael Jordan again. Remember, this is the exact end of that same other pack. Then we've got Kobe Bryant again. We got Gilbert Arenas again. <laughs> and then we have that Dwight Howard again. So that was literally the same end to that, like a pack, like a couple packs ago or whatever. Show us my jerseys. Oh God. I guess I could, but kind of kind of embarrassing actually. Kind of embarrassing to show you my jerseys. Ugh, come on. Maybe at the end, dude. Even though I didn't see you play. What? Oh, yeah, I mean, I see Michael play. Mm -hmm. You were born a year after he was... Wait, you were born the year after he was born, but you never saw him play? What? So we have rookie scrapbook, Jarrett Jack, from the Portland Trailblazers. I feel like we had a lot of Trailblazers guys in this this pack that were in the rookie scrapbook. Oh, sweet. We got another Cavs player. Nice. Like a current Cavs player. You don't care? You want to see the Trent Richardson one? I Actually, the Trent Richardson one, he's on a Santa Claus. <laughs> no joke. This is an exact duplicate pack, too. Well, actually, not exactly duplicate. I take that back. We have Zajunas Sigowskis, Tyron Liu, Sean Marion, Chris Weber. So those were all the same. We also we already saw all those. Jersey are all the busts the Browns had almost every draft pick. Whatever, dude. No, I mean, I got a Hayden one though. That's the only one I got, man. That's that's worth anything. Primo's Brizek from the freaking Bobcats. Don't remember this guy at all. Udonis Haslam, 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 duh. Udonis Haslam. This guy's name sounds familiar. Doesn't he still play basketball? Not sure. Not sure. Luke Ridnor from the Seattle Supersonics. There you go, Alex. Just for you, buddy. If you're still around. And then a current Cavs champion, Richard Jefferson from the Nets. We saved his career, made him a champion. How about that? How about that? We redeemed his career, made it worth something. See, that's what the Cavs do, man. Oh, he was on the Heat with LeBron. Well, you know what? That 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 time frame in my life did not exist, so we made we 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 saved his career. Okay, Charmander. You know, let's not be all technical here, dude. You know. I'm kind of disappointed, actually, that I'm not... I didn't get, like, any cards in this pack, like, that were, like, special, really. I'm kind of disappointed by that. Yeah, they definitely have different scrapbook cards that are the same guy, I think, but they're different. Huh. Ooh, the 7 and 59 Bobcats. <laughs> what? You should shave your head shiny bald and get a head tattoo like Big Bam Bigelow. What the... Bam, bam. Oh, hey, look, guys. Remind you of a Kardashian, anyone? Lamar Odom, the Lakers, Bam Bam Bigga Baker, Michael Petrius from the Warriors. Dude, I can't, I'm not going to go get it because I can show you the other ones because those are easy, but the Richardson one, no, nah, he's like in the Christmas stuff, dude. Oh wow, Robert Horry. Remember, didn't he, he used to play for the Bulls, right? Oh no, the Rockets. I'm sorry, it was one of those red teams. So Robert Horry, yeah, remember him when he actually used to be pretty good? Oh gosh, who remembers this guy? I've never heard of this guy before. Has anyone ever heard of this dude? Has anyone ever heard of this guy? You know, he could have he could have played with the Cavs this year and won another ring, but he just he declined. Kevin Garnett. Kareem Rush, Charlotte Bobcats. I'm going to kill Maxwell back there. Kareem Rush. Money Shot Horry. That's right, dude. I remember him. He used to be good at shooting, man. Lamar reminds you of hookers. Oh, God. 
We already had him, Karan Butler from the Wizards. The boss mode kid. We already had Raul Lopez, Tim Thomas. We already had those two. And this was a different version of that rookie scrapbook. Remember the Tim Green or the Gerald Green guy from the Celtics? This looks different. This one has a color at the bottom. I don't think the other one had that. And plus, I think it was just a big picture of his face on the other one. So this is a Gerald Green, another scrapbook one. Dude, I'm disappointed. How do I how do I get in a pack with LeBron's face in it? How do I got how do I not get a freaking LeBron in the pack? He is one of the best power forwards of all freaking time. <laughs> Eli, clearly I was trolling you there. That was intended to come off like, who is this guy? Who's this dude? Who's this loser? Give you that Gerald Green card. Well, guys, maybe what I'll consider doing. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll do something with those. We'll figure something out there. I have an idea. Let's see if it works. Oh, gosh, the neighbors are home. All right, so this is not a duplicate pack. You see the cat? Yeah, Maxwell, the dumbass, is like he likes to sit on. There's a printer back there, a printer scanner. And he keeps he lays on top of it like it's a freaking bed. And I always have to spray him with freaking water to get him off there. All right, we got Josh Childress from the Atlanta Hawks. Wow, look at that hairdo. Look at that hairdo. What is this, like the 70s, bro? What is that? Your same boat as your kid. You, your ki your calf passed away today. I got home from school. My mom and dad said they put their dog to sleep. Oh, Alex, dude, I'm terrible. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. That really sucks, man. It's unfortunate, man. Anytime you got to make those, those are obviously those are hard decisions. I know, man. <laughs> I know the struggle, dude. The only thing that the only thing that heals though, the only thing that heals that kind of pain though, is time, man. For real, no one can say anything to you to make it feel better, make you feel better about it, you know. So we got Antonio Daniels from the Wizards. Never heard of him. Give you all the Bulls cards. Nah, dude. We can do something maybe about the doubles, but um, I don't think I have any doubles Bulls cards. Nanad. <laughs> Nanad. Ninad. Kristik. Kirstik. I don't remember, even remember this guy. What is this guy? Who is this dude? Is he from like Russia or something? He's got to be, right? Andrew Bynum. Star rookie card. Sweet baby A. Back to sweet baby... Sweet baby Giz Gizmo, Gizmo, Gizmo says what's up. He's looking out the window at the birds and making noise. He likes to stand out the window and go. He makes little noises. We already saw this one, the Antonio McDias card. We have two Michael Jordans. All right, you're, you're right, I did have some Michael Jordans. All right, we have another Drew Gooden for the Cavs. Boo, that guy was a butthead. We already had the Scott Peggett guy from the Rockets or wherever he played. The Nets, sorry. Signed by the Nets. <clears throat> Damon Stoudemire from the Grizzlies. American Idol's coming back. Oh, God. That's terrible. And then we had another Martell. I think we had this guy earlier. Martell Webster, I think. It's all right, Pika Puff. It's okay, dude. I forgive you. <laughs> Sweet baby Jesus Gizmo's channel got suspended because YouTube said he was a wild man who was out of control. <laughs> what? Wow. Okay. Who was this guy? I don't remember this guy. I don't remember this guy. No, I'm not really. I'm not joking at all. Marvin Williams from the Atlanta Hawks. Six nine two thirty North Carolina. Don't know this guy at all, actually. Great. Another duplicate. Well, you'll be happy. Uh, well, I mean, I guess maybe uh, Ranger. <laughs> you'll be happy about this one. For the most part, it's the beginning of the pack's not a duplicate, but the end is. Well, actually, so we have Devion, Devion George from the Lakers. Don't remember this guy at all. We have <clears throat> Yao Ming again from the Rockets. 
free sweet baby Jesus gizmo. Ooh, Ginobili. Look at that. We got a mini Ginobili from the sperms. Another stupid Darius Miles. And here you go again, guys. The tri the trifecta or quad quadfecta. <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Freaking Gilbert Arenas. And freaking Dwight Howard. <laughs> All right, so we're down to these are the last four packs, dudes. And we didn't get anything like special at all, dude. I'm kind of like. Kind of like, you know, dude, you need to give me a LeBron. You could have at least given me a LeBron. It didn't even have to be anything special. At least give me a LeBron. You know what I'm saying? Peeps. Peeps McWeeps. It's just disappointing, guys. It's disappointing right now. I'm so disappointed. I mean, they're not terrible cards, though. I mean, the cards look nice and everything. But uh, another Stackhouse, another Jerry Stackhouse. Actually, I don't even know if we had this one before. Jerry Stackhouse from the Mavericks. I don't know if we showed that one before. Another well, we definitely had Ricky Davis, Charmander's favorite player, Ricky Davis. Hook a camera to Chester so we can sneeze and call it the Chester Cam. <laughs> Another TJ Ford. No point in showing that again. Samuel DeLembert. I don't remember this guy at all. From the. 76ers. I oh wait, we did have that card before actually. Pothead Ricky, right? Baron Davis. We had Baron Davis already. Juwan Wagner. We already had him from the Cavs. We already had Tony Parker. Dan. Yeah, we had the weird face looking dude. Ike Diogu. Does anyone remember this guy? I don't know this guy. He kind of looks like Draymond Green though in the face. He's got one of those faces. Faces you just want to punch. But anyways, he's got a G Diogu. Does anyone know that? Does he still play? Does anyone know? Give you that Ricky card as a duplicate. Why? So you can like record a YouTube video of you destroying the card. Is that what you? <laughs> is that what you want to do with it? Uh. Ooh. Wow. All right. We got some some different cards in this one. Although some duplicates. All right. So we got another Michael Red. No point showing that again. Another Sean Livingston. No point showing that again. I think we showed this guy, Gordon Girich, Girichek, I think is his name. Gordon Girichek from the Jazz. I think we showed him already. Michael Sweetney, we already showed that one. Here you go. Um, here's one that you should maybe like. Um, Charmander, Paul Pierce from the Celtics. Mike Miller from the Grizzlies. No, Ricky was okay. He wasn't that good. Okay. Kurt Thomas from the Suns. Matt Bonner from the Toronto Raptors. Is it, who's he? I don't know. Sean May from the scrapbook. Rookie scrapbook. Sean May. Who the hell is Sean May? He says he went for the went to the Bobcats. 6'9, 266. Born in 84. So he's three years younger than me. All I want is the empty Raptors. The cards, the wrappers, the cards came in. All right, Derek, here you go. Here's all the empty wrappers. <laughs> all these pictures of LeBron that you can hang on your wall. All right, we got two more packs left, guys. Two more packs. And I actually, after that, I'm going to show you quickly um, the set I bought additional cards for. They haven't come in the mail yet, but um, I want to show you the set I bought additional cards for because I'm trying to complete the set. 
trying to complete the set. And the, the cards actually are really nice. They're, they're cool cards, actually. Um, it was a great idea by, by Upper Deck, of course, who always had great ideas for cards. And unfortunately, um, you know, they just don't do the cards anymore. All right, another stupid Andrew Bynum card, rookie scrapbook. I just don't. I say stupid because. Oh, shit, dude. Guys. Holy crap, the second to last pack. Check this out. Not that I like this necessarily. Freaking Andrew Iguodala freaking jersey card from the freaking 76ers. Look at that. That's a piece of jersey right there, guys. Ooh, nice and soft. Andrew Iguodala. See, finally, we actually got a decent card. I wonder how much it's worth. It says, Weekend Authentic. This is from, it says, Congratulations, you have received an Andrew Iguodala game use shirt, shooting shirt trading card from the Upper Deck Company. On the front of this card is an authentic piece of shooting shirt. Andre? Oh, Andre. That's true. Andre. and Andrew. Okay. Andre. Shirt worn by Andrew Iguodala, <laughs> Andre Iguodala in an NBA All-Star Weekend event. We hope you enjoy this piece of basketball history as we at Upper Deck continue to keep you as close as you can get. Well, not anymore you don't. <laughs> so check that out, guys. Finally, we actually, after all those pack openings, we actually have a good insert card in there. I mean, it's not that, like I said, the average the average price of the cards and, and the pack are like 90 cents or something like that. So overall, the set's not, it, the set's actually worth the purchase. But um, those are the cards that you buy the, the, the boxes for. All right, so we already had this. Elton Brand guy, Richard, Corliss Williamson, Joe Smith. I don't remember if we even showed this guy, although I don't even know who the hell this guy is. Give that jersey card so I can trade it for a block of cheese. What the heck? Um, Strom Mile Swift from the Rockets. I don't know who this guy is. He played for the Grizzlies, and apparently he was traded to the Rockets or signed by the Rockets. I don't know. Another Steven Jackson. I don't think we showed this guy, Rafier. Olsen, Rafier Olsen, uh, Toronto Raptors. Dude, I'm not going to, dude, I'll see if I can find him, but it's not going to be easy, I don't think. Lee Nalen, we already had that one, though. All right, guys, last pack. God. So we finally didn't get, so that's why I think they, they put those cards in there, because if they didn't, then um, you could go to the store and buy the packs off the shelf and basically just steal the packs. And then if you felt that it had, um, if you felt that it would had a bulge, like it was a bulgier packet, then you would know that uh, there was an insert card in there. You know what I'm saying? Because these cards, these stupid insert cards they put in there are as thick as these. They're as thick as these cards width wise. See, if you stack two and two, stack them side by side, they're exactly the same width. So that's why that's why they did that. That's, exa actually, that's absolutely why they did that. That way you can just go and fi handle the pack and then know that you have a special card in there. So that kind of sucks, though, because that means that we just have, we just got one card out of that whole pack, which, again, is it's a risk you take with buying, um, cards you know you never know what you're going to get in the pack and that's kind of it's kind of like madden actually when you think about it um it's kind of like madden um we're doing the pack openings where you have no idea what you're gonna get oh wow wow amazing look at that of course this is the pack of the warriors apparently andrew bogut rookie scrapbook card Especially from Pittsburgh. <laughs> you had to throw that one cheap shot in there, Charmander. Low blow. Carlos Arorio. I kind of remember this guy. The name sounds familiar, but from uh, Detroit. Oh, who remembers this guy? This guy, freaking nobody. Nobody. Man, eh, don't even know him. Why do these parents hate them and name them all stupid ass names? We already had a Tony Kukoc that we showed. Travis Denier. I don't think we had this rookie card though. We had the other one, the scrapbook one. Travis Denier. Orlando Magic. I don't even know this guy. I never even heard of him, to be honest. Oh look, go figure. So we get an Andre Iguodala. 
76ers. Funny. This was his this was oh, a year after he was in the league. Who's Tim Duncan? I agree. Is he a bust? Yeah, I think so, dude. None have value, Jason. Um absolutely they do. PJ Brown for the Hornets. Bob Sura from the Rockets. Don't even know that dude. And then the final card, Devin Harris. <laughs> uh, Anticlimactic. Climatic, the Dallas Mavericks. Oh, yes, I got a Devin Harris. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Crazy. Craziness. All right, so that was pretty good, guys. Um, You know, I would have liked for better. I would have liked for all these... These upper deck stupid cards. Look at all these damn stupid upper deck, like, fat cards I got, dude. You were good on the Celtics, P.J. Brown. All right, guys, so that was all the packs. All right, so... <clears throat> oh, yeah, so we're going to show you... Hang on one second. Unfortunately, this isn't one of my better. This isn't one of my better um, sets of cards. Otherwise, I would show you because I had some other nice ones. Um, who was that? Dave Brown. So here's some. Um, these these might be kind of tough to see, actually. Yeah, these ones are going to be tougher to see. For real, especially with the mic in the way. These are definitely going to be tougher to see. Uh, yeah, there's such a glare. Such a glare. But this card here, this is a Marshall Falk second year standout card. This is a, this is a, this is a, down here, this is a Kerry Collins rookie card. First rounder, Kerry Collins rookie card. Not that it matters at this point because he's a bum. Do you have the first upper deck card printed? I don't believe you, Jason. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. So Cam, you should enjoy the any Patriots cards. Yeah, I got there's yeah, I got some Patriots cards. Um but uh hmm, I don't know if I have any in this set. Oh actually I do. Um this is again, these are these these cards aren't all that great. But these are still upper deck cards. Again, I was an upper, a huge upper deck fan back in the day. So, yeah, see, it's, it's hard to see with this glare. But if you can see this card here, that's your Roy McGinnis. Patriots card. Hey, what's up, killer? How's it going, dude? All right. So, so this is going to, again, this is going to be kind of hard to show, like I said, because of the glare. So this is the this is the set I'm trying to complete. Um, I don't want to take these out of the pack, which is kind of why I'm holding this stupid thing up here. You're the owner of Upper Deck, whatever, Derek. I wish. Um, so there's some cards here. Um, they might be kind of hard, easy to make out the name. So this is an Upper Deck Legends collection. The collection consists of 208 cards, and it has players like they have players in here. Uh, they have Bart Starr. Joe Namath, Walter Payton, Terry Bradshaw, Steve Largent, Johnny Unitas, Dick, Dick Butkus, um, Larry Zonka, Mel Blount. Uh, let's see, who else they got in here? Um, Jack Youngblood, Jack Ham. Let's see, uh... Who else is good in here? Basically, these are all like legends. They have a uh, they have a Joe Gibbs legendary uh, leaders card. Um, Ray Guy. Let's see who else. Joe Montana, of course. William Perry, Sterling Sharp, Jim Plunkett. Bart, more Bart Star cards. A Green Bay Packers like team card or whatever. 
Uh, some more Johnny Unitas. This was this then this set actually they really like Joe Montana, and they really like Joe Montana in this set. They had several Joe Montana cards, um, in this in this uh, set. Roger Craig. Crazy dude. Um, but anyways, it's a it's a it's an upper deck. Um, Joe loser, whatever, dude. The, it's an upper it's an upper deck set, and I'm trying to I'm I actually ordered the cards with the exception of one that I couldn't get because they sold out of that card. If I order it to complete the set, it's an amazing set, dude. It really is. <laughs> wow, wow, Alex, that's mean, dude. Hang on, let me see if I can find something real quick, guys. Wow, that was close. All right, I need to move this mic out of the way. That would help a little bit at least. So, again, this is going to be kind of hard to see if I can get it on the camera right. So right here, it's kind of hard to see with the glare. Football It's a football hero's Adrian Peterson with a piece of Adrian Peterson jersey. So it's a, a game worn jersey card. Um, let's see. And then up top here, Chad Johnson, a Chad Johnson Football Heroes jersey card. Oh, and Derek, you might like this. You might be interested in this one. Der Derek, you might be interested in this one. If I find it, it's also in this set, too. Um, I think. Pretty sure it is, actually. Thought it was. Pretty sure it is. <clears throat> hey, Derek, check it out. Not that it matters that much anymore. Oh, it's gonna be very hard to see in that glare. A Darren McFad a Darren McFadden signed football uh card. I think this is a rookie card actually. Darren McFadden signed authentic rookie card football heroes. And I also have a Lavelle. I also have a Lavelle Hawkins, rookie heroes signed card as well, or football heroes uh, signed card as well. So I'm not really sure. Um, I wasn't sure how much that one was worth, but that was just another one that I had signed. So, but anyways, that's another one. I don't love you. Why don't I love you? Um, so that's another one that that actually may be another set that I would like to try to complete is the uh, is the uh, football hero set as well because those have some nice cards in there but um yeah so all right guys all the men Blake has slept with <laughs> right I agree dude Maxwell get off of there. Fakames. Who's the Fakames, Derek? <laughs> I thought it would have been Jamarcus Russell card. Oh hell no, dude. I would have I would have burned that shit. <laughs> oh, show us the jerseys. Uh oh gosh, dude, you guys are killing me. Hang on. <laughs>
right, guys, you're killing me with this. So, <clears throat> the T-Rich jersey is not going to be able to come out because that's in a room. But obviously, this is the one that you guys have seen before, the Joe Hayden one. It's got Dog Pound written on the inside. Who, who, who? Who, who? <laughs> and then this is another um another Joe Hayden one. This is a a brown one. Oh god. Oh yeah. See these are some of these are kind of knockoff ones. I didn't buy these. Some of my brother bought these for me. So uh Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon jersey, number 12 brown, brown jersey. Oh, that's Cavs. So here we go. So we have these. I'll show you these ones. Anyways, these aren't NFL jerseys, but LeBron James black and gold jersey. The original Cavs. Here you go for Preston, the original Cavs, LeBron James, rookie, or not rookie, but LeBron James jersey. Charmander, do you want this jersey? Just kidding. I'll sell it to whoever wants it. Uh, this is our Barkevious Mingo jersey. It's got like this weird like dotted crap on it. It's just part of the style, but it's a Barkevious Mingo jersey for any of you Pats fans who want a washed up linebacker jersey. Oh God, going back in time guys, you're breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart. Who, who knows what jersey this is right here. Number 40 for the Browns. He was relevant for a year. Mingo is on the Colts, is he? Wow, dude, I didn't know that. Hillis. Peyton Hillis. And then all, practically the biggest bum of all time that ever played for the Browns. He had one good season. One good season. Number 17. Who knows who that is? Does my brother ever get on my stream? No, my stream now, man. Braylon Edwards from the University of Michigan. What a butthole. What a butt. So those aren't even all the NFL jerseys. I'll show you my least favorites last. So first off, this one. I had to have this one. My Peyton Manning, the Peyton Manning jersey. Only because of Peyton Manning, not because of the Denver Broncos. So I got this one, this nice one, Peyton Manning jersey. And, oh yeah. <clears throat> My other, I love this Peyton Manning jersey. This is the most comfortable one to wear. Peyton Manning from the Indianapolis Colts. So I got one from the Colts and one from the Broncos. Damn, my brother. <laughs> and then I got... Number 12, who is it? 12 from the Colts. Andrew Luck, mofos. So those are all the, <clears throat> those are all the jerseys. Like I said, I don't have, I can't show you the Trent Richardson one because he's on Santa Claus and Santa Claus is in the closet. So for the year, <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, yeah. So there's not really much more to show there. So, um, oh, I think I showed that one already before. Oh yeah, I, this card is not worth that much, but it's actually a cool card because um, they had a whole set for it. Actually, um, I don't know if anyone's ever seen this card before. ESPN, and so it begins. There's a there's a glare on it because of the screen, and it's because it's in a laminated thing. Container, whatever. 
So it's the ESPN LeBron James card from 2005, 2006. Of course, it was an Upper Deck one. Upper Deck made the coolest card. So I'm so sad that they stopped making basketball cards. So yeah, so that's cool. Another cool card I got. I like. I really like a lot. <coughs> um, but anyways, Tim Couch jersey? Hell no, dude. I don't got no Tim Couch jersey. I didn't start buying jerseys. My first Browns jersey was a jersey that someone bought for me. Um, actually, it was a friend, a, a friend who was a Bengals fan. Um, he bought me. Uh, he bought me that Braylon Edwards jersey. That's when I got my first ever Browns jersey. Prior to that, I never owned any Browns jerseys. Because remember, Braylon Edwards, that was after 2007 when the Browns, you know, were relevant for that one year. Now introducing YouTube vid collection of jerseys and cars. <laughs> oh, sorry. My mic's low because I'm kind of sitting far away. I had to move it out of the way to bring the stuff in front of the cam. Remember that Denver player used to come to your stream? What was his name? Oh, yeah, the Broncos whatever guy. It was his Bronco something or another. So, yeah, so that's – I think that's about all. Like I said, I'm, I've got some more cards, which I don't think I'll do it tomorrow. Maybe that will be a Friday thing. But I've got some more cards coming in um, probably tomorrow or Thursday. To compl Well, ex with the exception of one, we'll complete my, my uh, uh, Upper Deck Legends collection. So – but anyways, um, Preston, were you around when we got the Iguodala jersey thing? If not, I'll show you this again. Andre Iguodala, Iguodala this was a 76ers uh, jersey piece from the all, from an All-Star uh, competition. So that was the, that was this was the the main really good card that we got in the entire pack. Oh, you got a sleep study tomorrow night? Whatever happened to Von Miller? What do you mean what happened to him? He still plays for the Broncos, dude. Who's the one? What do you mean, Charmander? Who's the one? Alex, you're so mean, dude. Alex, you don't like anyone who doesn't play for the Phoenix Suns or the Arizona Cardinals, dude. <laughs> Alex, you're so mean. You're so mean, Alex. Why you gotta be so mean, dude? I thought you turned a corner, dude. You know, no MJ was even more lit. All right, dude. But I guarantee you, you know what? I th hmm. let me look this up real quick. <clears throat> let me look this up, actually. So basketball. Let's see. Oh, damn it. Hang on a second. Andre Iguodala. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you a crotch shot or anything like that, you know? Uh, let's see if I can find. <laughs> Hang on. I'm trying to type on two. Uh, All star. Let's see if it. Oh, that's not the. Preston, stop it. A S W dash A N. Ugh. You suck. Get out of here, Chester. Oh, you're so annoying. All right. Well, never mind. Cousins, don't show us that cam. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> All right, well, I have to figure out. Um, he stuck to party planning. What? I'll look it up. I mean, I, I'm going to look up the price for that thing when we're done. Look. Look who wanted to come back. Say hi. Hello. Hi, Charmander. Look. He's like, Charmander, I got two words for you. Suck it. Suck it, Charmander, suck it. <laughs> do, 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 do. He's like pointing to Maxwell over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chester's annoying. 
You like that Charmander? <laughs> Charmander got roasted by the cat on stream. <laughs> I know, I know you'd like that though. I know you're a you're a cool dude, Charmander. Chester's a god. He's like Chester just told me to suck it, but he's still my god. <laughs> All right, dude. So it's it's one after nine now. Um, I appreciate anyone. Appreciate you guys who. Uh, I will not stare at your package. Stop. Oh, so one thing I am going to do, guys. Um, I was going to do it today. Here's the problem. So, oh, yeah. So what we can do. So I mentioned the other day about doing South Park. So it turns out if you order these. Actually, if you order the South Park uh, fractured butthole. Um, yes, I know it sounds weird, but that's the, that's the name of the game. It's not B-U-T-T. -T. Ha ha. But if you order the Fractured Butthole game, uh, if you pre-order it, they will actually give you um, a free digital download of the Stick of Truth. So, so I, I think I'm going to do that. But unfortunately, the Fractured Butthole doesn't come out until freaking the last day of the year. Like, literally, that would be, like, my last day of vacation. Because usually I do, like, vacation at the end of the year, which I want to be streaming like crazy then, guys. If, you know, if I'm still working there at <laughs> the same place and I make it that far, I mean, it should be possible. But, um, yeah, I usually take, like, the last two weeks of December off or last two and a half weeks or three weeks of December. Um, so, yeah. So, um, the end of December is when I stream like crazy or during the, over the holidays or whatever. No, they do, Preston. It says uh, they have release date set at December 31st, 2017 is the release date for it. At least right now. I mean, that's what it says. That's what it has on Ubisoft's website. It's December 31st. Make you in the stick of truth. <laughs> Preston has a fractured butthole. <laughs> wow, Derek. All right. Anyways, so yeah, um, so I'm gonna probably pre-order that. Is that my dream job? What uh, streaming games all day? If that's your, if that's what you're asking, yes, dude, that would be freaking amazing. If it's all I could do was just sit at home and stream all day. Same as say the name of the game is again. It's called the Fractured Butthole. So yeah, so but so with the. Uh, what I was planning on getting is they have a collector's gold edition. In the collector's gold edition, you get you get uh, let's see, you get a copy of the game. You get three postcards that have like uh, like drawings or, or like fan art, basically. You get a six-inch goon figurine or coon figurine, the one with you know, obviously Cartman. Anyone who's familiar with it. Um, you get a six inch coon figurine, you get the stick of truth, uh, digital download, you get some costumes and perks and you get Kali as your Tali as your gaming bud. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds like he might, he might make, he might make appearances in the game or something. So <laughs> let's see. So they have no idea when the next shirt is coming out for that fractured button. But then you would not read your our comments because they would be going so fast if you were popular. Alex, if they were if so we had a time where chat was going real fast and that's what slow mode is for. Guys, no, it's not that no no no, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> it's fractured butt hole. So not as in a butthole, but but hole. <laughs> All right. So that, but that's what you get for like the um, collector's edition. So I'm thinking of getting that um, because I think the the digital download is immediate, um, immediately available. So I would just then download that uh, and then uh, hook it up. So. And then we could do some South Park Stick of Truth. I mean, I played the game before and I beat it already, so I would just I would play it, be playing it again. But I haven't played it in such a long time. So, you want to be the new kid, Marcus? All right, dude. Maybe we can figure out. Maybe we can. Maybe we can do something like. 
Well, I know a lot of people don't want to donate, though, but at the same time, it's kind of like that's one way t for people to get, like, what they want. Like, like if you don't, like, whoever donates the most within a certain time period gets to have the character named after them or something like that. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. So let me let me ask you guys this. So I'm not sure how I do it, though. Um. So if we were to reset, see that's the problem is I don't know it would it would cost money to send those things and I don't know if I could really send them securely enough to not get damaged. I guess I could send them in glass cases, but I need to buy cases or something. Um, but let me ask this: so, do you guys? What would you guys think about resetting the gold dragons? And, um, like, for example, like with the cards, for example, like I would say, hey, if you want a, sh if you want a chance to, to win a free, one of these free basketball cards that I got, like one of my doubles, for example, like one of my Michael Jordans or one of my Kobe's or Gilbert Arenas, um, you would put in for, you would put in X number of uh, gold dragons for an opportunity to be the one to win that card, and then I would send the card to you. Now I'm not going to reset the hours. I would only, I'm only talking about gold dragons, because at some point, and this may be the point where gold dragons. Yeah, Kuna's the character on South Park. Um, yes, we know what it means, Charmander. I get it, but it, the 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 Coon is a is a superhero on South Park, which is Cartman in disguise. What are you talking about, Alex? I mean, because the, the thing with the reset is that everyone it will at least be starting over from scratch, um, and legitimately they would have to be earned legitimately, even for mods. Like mods would be reset, and they would have to start over as well. And there, there's no more. There would be no more freebies for anyone because then, um, you know, someone would have an advantage over the other. But then it would be like, okay, you need to, you need to, you need to put in X number of yeah mods too no if we, we send this play UFC with Baker no see I can't we're not going to be doing that if I if I do anything like that we're not going to be allowed to bet gold dragons <laughs> yeah you worked hard to get all of them all right Alex hey thanks for stopping by dude appreciate it you maybe have an aspect about everyone on the character yeah but that might be kind of tough, though. And we got a lot of people in here, though. I mean, it's kind of... We'll have to see. Plus, the thing, too, is that, like, with the with the Stick of Truth... Um, with the Stick of Truth, um, like, there's certain things that you can wear. Like, I know, like, in a certain area, you can get, like, SWAT, like, tactical stuff. And, like, you would totally want to wear that because the SWAT tactical stuff is, like... OP. Um, so, yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll think about it. What would I reset it to? I mean, basically everyone would start over. Everyone would start over zero. Zero gold dragons across the board. And then it would basically be... What what your Jordan card? It's the 2005-2006 uh, uh, Upper Deck Basketball Michael Jordan card. I ended up getting like four of them in this set. I got four Jordans, four Kobe's, four Gilbert Arenas's, four Dwight Howard's. And then for Gold Dragons, the only thing is that I I think giving Gold Dragons away, that may have to be turned off. Because I don't know if I like the idea of doing that. I mean, maybe I can because then it means more. And maybe people wouldn't just give them away willy-nilly. Um <laughs> Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it's just something that I think it's going to have to happen at some point. If you do it, double all the gold dragon numbers. What? What do you mean? It doesn't make any sense. Like double the amount of gold dragons you get. Oh, 
<clears throat> I mean, maybe. I mean, we may have a way to offset to make you let to allow people to earn faster, a little bit faster. But I don't want it to be too fast because <clears throat> because if we get to things that are that require a high amount of bidding, then for the people who spent time conserving their gold dragons and are consistent watchers of the stream, you know, have an opportunity to put in. Whereas if you're watching the stream for not a long period of time and you're not here grinding that you're not going to have the same opportunities that others might have because of the fact that they conserve their gold dragons and they you know grinded it out basically you see chester now that's maxwell maxwell's in the background look at that dummy hi maxwell you dumbass get off of there get 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 So guys, if you have cats, these things come in handy. Clorox bleach bleach spray. No, I'm just playing. It's just water. <laughs> Clorox bleach. Um, yeah, just get one of those water bottles, man. You you hold that up to them. Once they get once they get a whiff of getting sprayed in the face with that, oh man, they'll never mess with you again. Although sometimes it takes a little uh, threatening. <laughs> you calling Peter because I sprayed my cat with water? Whatever, Charmander. Cats get baths, so I was just giving them a bath. Cake. Um, all right, guys. So, yeah. So we'll 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 think. I'll think about that. The whole um, resetting thing and what we can do to try to level that out. Three to one centers. All right, Preston. I grind every day on two things for your bucket and set the second the stream. Oh, Gabe, that's sick, dude. <laughs> that is so sick, man. You in this bucket? Give away something good. Well, I mean, cards are good, man. You know, we're getting there. You're almost done with BakerBot 2.0. All right. For Twitch or for, for YouTube. Oh, it only works on Twitch. Well, dude, that's not that's not very helpful. Your first two is, yeah, Derek's first 100 hours, 200 hours, 250 hours. First three gold dragon limit. Yes. <laughs> Give me that Paul Pierce. Well, see, I wouldn't give away the Paul Pierce, dude. The Paul Pierce, I only got one of them in the pack in the set, so I would not give away the Paul Pierce. I'm only talking about, I would only give away doubles. I would only give away doubles. Those would be the only ones I'd be willing to, um, you know, auction up, if you will. So, and again, it's not going to, it doesn't cost anyone real money. It just costs you time in the stream and grinding in the stream and stuff like that. And, you know, one day I'll say, hey, if anyone... If you guys want to bet on this move to Twitch, dude, Twitch, but see, the, the hard part is getting everyone to follow you. The second hard part is that I'm not partnered with Twitch. I'm not partnered with Twitch, and it takes, what, 50? I think they said, what, 50 viewers for a week or something consecutive, maybe, um, in order to get partnered. So that alone would be tough. And not everyone would necessarily follow me, though. We should have a YouTube vid stream Hall of Fame first on inductee Derek. That's not that's not a bad idea, Eli. But see, I think that would go along with the ranks, though, dude. It would go along with the ranks thing, though. I think once people reach Hall of Fame status, then they get inducted. Yes, a good rookie card. Uh, I don't know. I mean, see, it would only depend. If I had doubles of one, then possibly. Um, but uh, I don't know, dude. Just induct me first ballot now, boy. Preston was going to. Yeah, like I said, I think it needs to be once you hit that Hall of Fame status in the ranks. That's when we start inducting people and can do something like that. But again, that's like with six months of watch time. All right, guys. So... Yeah, so we're good. Um, so like I said, I mean, we'll we'll figure out the stick of truth stuff soon, and um, you know, I know we got some more Sims to do and stuff like that in the in your future with NBA and whatnot. So we'll get to that too. Um, but yeah, so thanks everyone for you guys uh, joining today. Appreciate it a lot, dudes. Thanks for watching. I know it's not exactly the Sim, not exactly what everyone wants, but you know, it's just something different, something unique that not everyone does. So I felt like it was a good idea, especially since I just got these new cards. So, um, yeah. Um, and then when I get my next set of cards, then I might do that Friday or something. Do a reaction for the closer. What? 
Charmander. <laughs> no, you didn't, Charmander. Big Black died. What? What are you talking about, game? All right, anyways, guys. Thanks again. Take care, dudes. I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> no, Derek, let's not. And say we did. <laughs> All right, guys. Until then, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Until then, you know it. Bye-bye.